Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you from wherever you are. So today, this is what we're going to be doing. This is our drawing. So the reason why I chose this drawing, which looks quite simple, is because we're going to use a new function that we haven't used so far. The function is called draft function. So this is how we want the sample to be like. So all the dimensions are in millimeters. So you can see there's a certain angles. The, 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 actually the same angles. So without wasting in time, what we're going to do is we're going to go in my home. Then from there, we go in here. After that, we go in here. Then from the metric, millimeter, create. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by a rectangle. Remember, our sizes, the longer side is 60 millimeters. There we go. That should be 60 millimeters. And the shorter side is supposed to be supposed to be 40 millimeters. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the inner lines, that one, up to the, this one, up to the, and then the dimensions from the to here, that's supposed to be 20 millimeters, and then from the to the, this one is already 20. So this is how it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say finish sketch. And then from there, I'm going to go on extrude. As we all know, then I choose the part that I need to extrude. So I'm extruding that part. And then I want it to be extruded at 20 millimeters. I'm done. Then from there, I'm going to go and press my function draft. Then after that, so I function draft. Then I go. Remember, you need to know what edge you need to draft it against. So I go fixed edge. There is my fixed edge. So the face that the face that I need to take down is that one. So there you go. Now here, I need to know what degrees I'm going to take down against. So now, as we can see by my drawing, that is 16 millimeters. That is 20 millimeters. So some people might do it in another way but this is how you do it so you go uh you go there and then you take 20 divided by 60 okay then after that you go inverse tangent you get your degrees there so my degree will be since i'm going down it will be minus one eight point four three there we go so i get this part then i go in order to see my sketch the i right click sorry i right click then i go visibility then from the from the i go and extrude that part so i go extrude this part 20 millimeter again the same thing apply here i go in my function draft i go there sorry i go fixed edge there is my edge there make sure that i select my edge right then i go i select the face i want to take that face down so my degree my angle there is again 18.43. Okay, then there I say yes. So there you go. After that, what I do is I go again, extrude. Because remember, look, look at how it looks like. I need that support there. Okay, which means I need this part here. Sorry, come on. Uh, I need that part there. So I go there again. I select the part that I need to extrude by 20 millimeter again. I say yes. So look at how it looks like. So that is the top part. I need the bottom part. So and then I go again, extrude. I select that. I select this. I select that. And then I'm not cutting. I'm adding. I go there. Then 
what I do is I need to come not that side but the reverse side like that then I say okay so now you see you've done doing your drawing so what you're gonna do is you go there you remove the visibility and then everything is done what you can do is you can go there and put the material that you want on generic the material that is that size is wood so I'm gonna look for wood wood maple you see how that wood maple looks like come on come on come on yes so this is how it looks like so if I want a cherry wood cherry because that is cherry so very good you see so you see how this is how beautiful it looks so this was a simple drawing as I said my main focus was to show you how can you use the function draft how can you do those kind of angles so I hope that you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you, if you haven't and uh, don't, for, don't forget to like please do okay thank you so much so far take care of yourself and I'll see you for the next for the next video cheers bye